Measuring mass using grams. We learned that the standard unit for measuring mass is the kilogram. A kilogram could be as heavy as this bottle of milk. What if we want to measure smaller things? Let's take this jar of sugar. If the total amount of sugar in the jar has a mass of one kilogram, then half of it would have a mass of about half a kilogram. And a quarter of this amount would have a mass of about a quarter of a kilogram. But sometimes we need to measure even smaller masses. Another unit for measuring masses that is smaller than the kilogram is called the gram, written like this. How heavy is one gram? A gram is very light. For example, a paper clip could have a mass of one gram. We can measure different masses, like that of a pencil, which has a mass of about five grams. Or a can of corn, which can have a mass of about 250 grams. But we can also measure the mass of bigger things, such as a loaf of bread, which can be about 750 grams. Since a kilogram is bigger than a gram, you may be thinking that if we combine enough grams together, then we can get to one kilogram. And you would be right. Let's use this balance to see how many grams we need until the arrow points to one kilogram. So we put more and more grams on the balance. Wow! So we need 1,000 grams to get to one kilogram. So one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. In this lesson, you learned about the gram as a smaller unit for measuring mass.